I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Speaker Nancy Pelosi was asked about upcoming travel during her weekly press briefing on Friday. The House Speaker is reportedly planning to visit Taiwan, but she said she would not comment on potential travel plans for security reasons. Her possible Taiwan visit has the backing of many Republicans, and she has reportedly invited several GOP lawmakers to accompany her on the trip. Chinese officials have threatened severe consequences should Pelosi go to Taiwan. According to the Associated Press, unnamed officials reportedly said the U.S. may send fighter jets and other military preparations to the Indo-Pacific region for Pelosi's protection. Really quickly, can you, I know you don't want to talk about your travel, but can you at least talk about the significance of visiting Asia? What type of message you and a congressional delegation would want to send if you, in fact, make this trip? Well, I don't ever talk about my travel because, as some of you know, it's a security issue. It's a security issue for every member of Congress traveling, especially abroad. But for the speaker, it is a, a additional uh, security issue. And for those traveling with me, not just members, but staff, etc. The um, president earlier, well, earlier in his term, talked about a strong emphasis on the Asian Pacific. Uh, he, he has visited there, as uh, vice president's visit there, the secretary of commerce and others. And uh, we want the Congress of the United States to be part of that initiative. Of course, as a West Coast person, we see the Pacific as there are, you know, that's our, that's our home. We're part of that as well. That is not to diminish the importance of our uh, transatlantic relationships as well. But uh, it's, it's, we're, I'm very excited, if, should we go uh, to the countries that we're, we, you'll be hearing about along the way, uh, about how the, the conversations we have now. Earlier this year, a couple months ago, I guess it was, we had nine leaders of the ANSEAN, uh, the Southeast Asian uh, countries, and at the House, to, uh, was bipartisan. In fact, we invited some of the, the Senate to come and some participated to have a conversation, hear their presentations, and relate. Uh, another symbol, the president had that ASEAN uh, meeting in Washington, D.C., and we were very much a part of it. So again, we have global responsibilities, uh, whether it comes to three things, I always say, security, economy, and governance. And th this will be part of that. That's it. Thank you all. Bye-bye.